Hello everybody, I am Sean and this is The Trail House. Hello everybody, today on our how to segment we're going to go over how to wash and retreat your outdoor products, whether it's for skiing, hiking, and everyday use. Now I know a lot of you are asking, do I really need to wash my outdoor clothing? Well in short the answer is yes. If you wash your everyday clothing, you definitely need to wash your outdoor products as well. Just may not need to do it at the same frequency. Now, a lot of people are asking yourselves, okay, well, when do I know to wash my products? Well, when you start actually notice things like dirt buildup on the wrist cuffs of your jackets, or you're starting to get discoloration around the collar, or just noticing that those oils are starting to transfer to your jacket collars, and even on the zippered areas, which are all your heavily used areas, you definitely need to wash your garment. Now, you don't wanna use just your everyday detergents. Why is that? Well, your everyday detergents generally are not designed for waterproof clothing and they're not designed for down products unless you're buying one specifically for that. There are some manufacturers out there that do actually make good technical washes for your waterproof breathable garments for your soft shells, fleeces, and your down in synthetic jackets. If you're not using that, you actually can damage your products, leaving it to perform worse than it was when you originally started to wash your jacket. At that point, you also want to notice that if your jacket's starting to no longer have water beat up on the outside of it, it's actually starting to just saturate the fabric, especially in those heavy wear areas. It is because that durable water repellency is treated at the manufacturer, but it does wear out over time and you do want to retreat that. And there is a spray for that. You also have wash-in items from those manufacturers too, but I definitely recommend the spray-on version. The spray-on version treats just the outside of your jacket, leaving the inside untouched, helping it build, breathe, and transfer all that moisture that you're sweating from the inside out, usually a lot of water vapor. So most manufacturers, if not all of them, actually will have a little instruction guide on the inside of your jacket. On the inside hem, some do it on the collar of the shirt, other ones have them in this nice little booklet like this marmot jacket does here on the inside and just about every language on the planet based on this little dictionary that I'm seeing right here. So make sure you're following the instructions on that garment instruction list uh, before you start washing your jacket. I definitely also recommend using a front-loading washer and dryer unit. One of the main reasons is the front-loading washers and dryers do not have that center agitator, which actually can damage your garments uh, rather than helping it. Those also use a lot more water, so you definitely would prefer to use a front-loading washer dryer because they're also just a little bit more conscious about the amount of water that they use. When you're using these types of detergents, again, they're specific for each type. So you have stuff for waterproof, breathable garments, you have ones for down, and you have other ones for synthetic insulation as well. It's designed specifically for this fabric, so they clean it without stripping things that would help the jacket perform out of the fabrics, and it helps it work like new. 